Hello, everyone. I hope you are all surviving this winter. That seems like it is taking forever. I am so ready for summer. And one thing that is helping us right now uh, get through this winter because we have been getting a ton of snow here in Colorado. But one thing that's helping us is we are starting to plan our summer. So we are going to be traveling around the country and teaching classes. If you want us to come to your neck of the woods, send me a message and I would love to plan a time for us to come and visit you. So we're getting really excited for that and just kind of planning the warmer states first, you know, in the south and then, you know, make our way uh, up north when it gets warmer later in the summer. So anyway, my name is Karen Amundsen and my husband and I run Oil Powered Pair. So you can find us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So this video is going to be downloaded to YouTube. So if you don't catch the live on Instagram because they only stay up for 24 hours, you can go back and get all of our videos on our YouTube channel where we almost have 100 videos there for you guys. So go, go check that out. And then I want to make one quick announcement. We are in the middle of BOGO week for doTERRA. So what that means is if you buy one oil, you get one for free. So it's a great time. A lot of people jump on board. They stock up on their oils. They get gifts for people. And this is um, experience doTERRA's oils now is the time to jump in and just try them okay because that's the only way you're really gonna know if something works and if you like something so today's BOGO is by Melaleuca get oregano for free okay so by Melaleuca oregano these two are amazing for your immune system so this is one of the greatest immune bundles that you can get, okay? So um, let me know if you do not have your own wholesale account yet, and if you wanna give these a try and you don't need a wholesale account, you can just purchase them retail. So let me know if that's something that you are interested in. Okay, we're gonna dive into today's topic, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is one of the biggest um, and quickest changes that we made in our lives when we started um, a natural, um, holistic lifestyle, okay? And um, this is kind of, this is one of the easiest ways for people to start taking those baby steps and making a change. Now, what I love about doing these live videos and coming up with content is it makes me think back to how I used to be and how I used to think and like how did that transform? And I was thinking back to the word toxin and when I first heard that word and it was probably about 20 years ago when I got a um, body massage. And I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a, a massage, they tell you afterwards to drink water to help flush out your toxins. And I remember the masseuse telling me to do that and I was like, toxins, what are toxins? Like I, I had no clue what she was talking about, but I didn't wanna sit there and ask her what a toxin is. So I just drank my water and um, you know, was kind of clueless. But at that point, I wasn't wanting to really research. I wasn't, you know, that curious about health and wellness. I mean, I was mediocre. Like, I liked to exercise and, um, you know, eat in moderation and all that kind of stuff. But I was not, you know, into holistic living. And so, anyways, I was thinking about, you know, I, I think there's a lot of people out there still that don't really know what a toxin is, but you you're starting to hear that phrase more and more. But when I meet with people and we have hundreds of customers, so I've met with hundreds of people and I meet with them after they get started um, with their doTERRA essential oil, you know, journey, 
and I put together a customized wellness plan for them. And one thing that I ask them, I have everyone rate themselves, how they think they're doing in certain categories. And one of those categories is reducing toxic load. And I'll ask you, do you know what that means? And about 90% say they don't really know what that means. They don't know what a toxic load is. They don't know what toxins are in their home. And so then that got me to thinking like, okay, why, why don't we really know what toxins are? And if you think back to like the horse and buggy day, right? Or when you got your water from a well, or when um, we were hunters and gatherers, everything was natural for the most part like we we got everything organically from the earth and you didn't you didn't have um fumes you didn't have pesticides you know you didn't have fuel jet like um or jet fuel so you know you think about that and it's like well yeah 100 200 years ago people really didn't know what a toxin was or really used that word um, reduce your toxic load or, you know, watch what you eat. There might be toxins in there or your products and that kind of thing. So just, I think because of where we are today in today's day and age and all that we have available to us and all the modern technology, we are exposed to more toxins. And so what we need to do is just be aware. I don't, hopefully you guys, oh, sorry guys. Um, I'm having problems <laughs> with my iPhone. Here we go. Sorry guys, it just went dark for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully you can still see me. Um, okay, so what is a toxic load, okay? This is a great definition that I found online. A toxin is anything that damages the body. Toxins can be from food, the air, water, mold, clothing, and products that we use with harmful ingredients, okay? I'm really dark on Instagram. I don't know if you guys, maybe something just went off. Sorry, I hope you can see me over there, okay. We should be good. <laughs> All right, this is the weird thing about looking at yourself. It's, it's just weird. All right, so I wanna tell you guys how I used to think. So a few years ago, I thought everything was safe, that if it was sold in the stores, that it had to be okay for you. Because in my mind, I'm like, why? Would they be allowed? Why would anybody be allowed to sell anything that's not safe for you? And so I was very naive and um, and was was not educated, and I didn't do my research, and I just believed, right? And I think part of it was maybe I was just lazy, or um, I didn't care a whole lot about my health back then, or I didn't want to take the time to do the research. So there could be a lot of reasons why, um, but that is how I used to think until um, these you know, little baby steps started to occur, little light bulbs started to go on. We start today, you can Google anything and everything, and there's so much that's out there and that's available for your information, okay? and uh, documentaries, that's another great place to go. Uh, but again, sometimes documentaries, you do make sure that it is a reputable documentary. Um, so anyway, so we started to do our research and here we are today because of everything that we have learned over the past few years, okay? So I'm gonna share some of that stuff with you. So one thing that we learned is that the average household has about 62 toxic chemicals in it, and we're exposed to them frequently. The ingredients in these very common household products have been linked to asthma, cancer, reproductive disorders, 
hormone disruption and neurotoxicity, okay? So I'm not gonna get into a lot of the science today behind all of this stuff, but just think about um, the uptick that we have in diseases, in cancer, in um, hormone disruption, in thyroid problems, and you name it, you have to admit that there's an uptick in that, and there's something that's causing that, okay? So um, one documentary that we love, love, love is Stink, S-T-I-N-K. So look that up when I'm done and watch it. I, at the end of this call, over in Facebook, in my comments, I'm gonna put a PDF file there. So I'm gonna have a link, okay, to the list of ingredients that you should be looking for that are harmful and that there's been research and studies done where it's been linked to um, diseases and all sorts of problems, okay? So I'm gonna have that for you guys at the end of the call. And then you guys can research and look up some of this information uh, yourself, okay? And watch Stink, okay? So I used to have a closet full of your Windex, your Clorox, your um, scrubbing bubbles. My father-in-law is retired from Johnson Wax. And so we would go and get the company discount and could, we would bring home boxes, okay, of your plugins, your sprays, your candles. I mean, we had one of the probably most toxic homes out there because we had access to, you know, all of these um, cleaners. And now it's interesting that Johnson Wax is starting to go towards the natural route. So I think they came out like with a green, you know, Windex cleaning spray made with vinegar. So it's be aware of that, that there's a reason why major companies are now starting to get on board and starting to make more natural green cleaning products. And because us as consumers, we're becoming more aware and more educated of what's actually in uh, a lot of these products that we're using. Okay, so for me, if I would have rated myself on a, a scale, one being the worst and 10 being I'm awesome at this, I would have given myself a one in this category of reducing toxic load. So not only was it in my cleaning products, it was in my personal care products, um, my makeup, you know, also our food, all sorts of things. So I was a one, but this category by far was the easiest for me to switch and slowly get that number up to a two and then a three and then a four and then a five and then a six, okay? And now I'm probably an eight or a nine. So I'm not completely, um, you know, chemical free, toxin free. I mean, I get my hair colored, you know, so um, I'm not a hundred percent, right? And there's a couple other things. Some of my makeup probably isn't a hundred percent natural, but even in that category, I'm trying to make those baby steps, okay? So one quote that I wanted to read to you guys is I've been talking a lot about change and just how um, I, I love the word change. I think it's a good thing to change. And uh, I read this quote and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is cool. And I very much agree with this. So it says, you don't change your life. This is from Bob Heilig, by the way. You don't change your life. You change your habits and your habits change your life. I love that because I'm like, yeah, you know what? That, that is true. I've started to slowly change my habits because we're creatures of habit, so we all naturally have our habits, okay? So once you start to change your habits, then your life starts to change. Now, I do believe that you can have a change like this. Like we moved to Colorado, that was, state to state. Um, it wasn't really about a habit, but it could start, it could have start, started with our mindset 
and I'm getting bad connection again on Instagram. Sorry, guys. Um, you might need to hop over to Facebook. Oh, boy. I wish we could do something with our connection and our service out here because it seems like every time I have a problem with something. So, um, and it's not, it was super windy this morning. Okay, I think you guys are back. Crazy windy. So we live at the base of um, mountains, like 14 footer, 14,000 foot mountains. We're right at the base and we're in this meadow, okay? And the wind just is extreme out here. And so sometimes that can cause problems with our internet. So hopefully you guys are back on and we're good to go. All right. So I want you guys to think about what is all in your home. So right now, think about what you're using. Think about your personal care products. Think about your, um, your home products, your cleaning products. And here's another step that I wanna share, okay? So when it comes to personal care products, especially for women, women put on an average of 168 chemicals on their bodies daily, okay? Now that seems like a crazy um, extreme number, but if you think about it, you're using shampoo, conditioner, hair products, hair spray, dry shampoo, um, foundation, face wash, um, you know, gels, your, your foundation, your powder, your eyeshadow, your mascara, your, um, your lotions, your body butters, so think about all the stuff that you're you're putting on. So I could definitely believe that you that can add up and then look at your ingredients list, okay? And look at all the ingredients that are in all of your products. So it takes 26 personal care products to enter your blood stream. Okay? So you put it on your skin just like essential oils, right? And it gets through your skin and into your blood stream, okay? So that's why we need to be careful what we're putting on our body because it doesn't just stay on the outside of our body. Um, so for personal care products, I think I mentioned body spray, makeup, deodorant and toothpaste, okay? So those are two, you know, big areas that, you know, deodorant, I, that was one thing, I'm like, oh, I, even when natural deodorants, deodorants were coming out, I remember a long time ago, I tried that little rock, um, it was like a mineral stick, and I tried it for like a week, and I was like, oh, this doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work, um, and so I gave up. And part of it was just because I wasn't educated. And I'm like, oh, it's just easier to buy the, you know, over-the-counter deodorant. And so um, that was one of my first switches that I made was deodorant. So you've got your balance um, deodorant and beautiful deodorant from doTERRA. So that is a super easy switch, okay? Um, and think of your lymph nodes that are in your armpits. I mean, that's where they're located. Be careful what you're putting on every day, okay? So toothpaste, that is another very... You want to move up that scale of you're at a one, this can be an easy two. Your deodorant and your toothpaste, like start there. there those are two super easy baby steps, okay? Because it's just a matter of where you're purchasing and what you're purchasing, okay? So your toothpaste, I, oh, I forgot. Or if you are buying an over-the-counter toothpaste, look at the back and it says in very tiny print, if you ingest more than a teaspoon to call uh, poison control. And I just lost Instagram. It booted me out. It's doing that. Don't know why. Don't know why. Okay. So they're going to have to hopefully find me here on 
Facebook, okay? I gotta figure that out. All right, so toothpaste, right? Easy switch, look at the back, and it says if you ingest more than a teaspoon to call poison control. control. So that tells you right there that there is something in there that is not good for your body. That's toxic, okay? It's right there on the label. All right, cleaning products. So now, take a minute, think what you're using to clean your home with. Think of all the cleaning products that are out there, which I think is a racket because you do not need a separate product for each area of your home, for your floors, your countertops, your sinks, your toilets, your bathtubs, your shower walls, your, you know, what else, what else do you clean? Windows. Um, you can use one all-purpose spray to clean all of that stuff. Okay, so we literally went through all of our cleaning products and I was replacing them, you know, kind of one at a time. And then finally, I'm just like, dump it all, get rid of it all. So, um, so just think about that, that if that's where you're at and you're ready to do that and divorce yourself from those, you know, toxic cleaning products, you can do it. And it's super easy to switch over because you don't need to replace all 15 of those with 15 more different clean products. So um, I'm gonna tell you a couple tips of what we use to clean our home, okay? First step that we took to switching over and helping reduce our toxic load was the foaming hand soap. And I used to be a Bath and Body Works girl. When they had their sale, I would load up. Like, I love yummy smelling hand soap. I love it. I, it was like, I loved, it was like a high for me to go out there and get the, the soaps. <clears throat> and now what we do is I still have yummy, delicious smelling hand soap because I can flavor this with any essential oil that I have. So wild orange, eucalyptus, rosemary, on guard, lemon, I mean, you spearmint, um, Siberian fur if you like more of a piney smell. So this is super, super easy and super cost effective. So I'm saving a ton of money right now because I'm not loading up on all those soaps and then you always add more stuff that you don't need. And all I do is I make my own. So you can make your own foaming hand soap with either like cast aisle soap, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil and some essential oils or another easy switch is getting our On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. Okay, so because it's a concentrate, you can make 12 all-purpose cleaning sprays with this. You can also use this for laundry. I use this for my sinks when I scrub my sinks, and I'm going to tell you how I do that in a second. Um, I use this for my foaming hand soap. So you can put a tablespoon in here, add your water, and you can just leave it just with this or you can add essential oils to it if you wanna beef up the, the smell, okay? You can add your wild orange. So um, this also is our, what I said earlier, all-purpose cleaning spray. So again, another baby step. So all of these can be baby steps. So just decide, start with one or two things what do you want to do first? What do you want to replace first? Do you want it to be your hand soap? Do you want to get just this all this cleaner concentrate so that you can actually, you know, two for one, right? Um, so the cleaning spray here is what I use to basically clean almost everything in our home. Kitchen countertops, um, table tops. I'll even use, this will be our bathroom cleaner spray. I even use this for our windows and it works great. And I use our Norwex, you know, cloths to clean our windows. So next, 
toothpaste, which I had mentioned and I forgot to grab. So easy switch, get a natural toothpaste, and step towards reducing your toxic load. And uh, personal care products, okay? So your lotions, your, so this is fragrance um, free. Now, you need to be careful with fragrances, okay? That's one of the most toxic chemicals that or ingredients that we have in our over-the-counter products. So if, you're, if you want to you have a fragrance, you want it to be natural. So you want to use essential oils. So I get this and I add my essential oils to it just right in the palm of my hand. And then I rub it on my body. Okay, and then you've got your personal care products. So this Virage line is our most natural plant-based line, okay? You can practically eat it. It's so natural. So again, these are all baby steps that you're going to gradually take over time. Um, this article here said studies have shown it takes on average 66 days to create a new habit. So remember, we've been in this now for two and a half years, okay? So this was not an overnight change like I've talked about. It was gradual, and it just, it looks like, you know, we completely switched over, but it didn't happen overnight. So just remember that. Um, Okay, and then, then what you can start to do is the next step is you're gonna start replacing your cleaners, okay? So if you do not have essential oils in your home, that's okay. You can start with vinegar and baking soda. And I put my baking soda in this container and then I have jars of it too around like in our bathroom because I use that for detox baths okay that when you take a detox bath um, or like a Epsom salt foot soak the toxins are you know released they can be released through your pores through your sweat so vinegar okay this is one of my favorites um, always have this in our home, and I always get this big, huge container. So this is how you can scrub your sink. So if you don't want just the spray, and you need more grit to clean, you know, toilets, your sinks, your bathtubs, what you do is you sprinkle baking soda, and then you add your vinegar. Now, I put my vinegar in a spray bottle. So then I can spray the vinegar, and you hear it sizzle. If you have essential oils, you can add your lemon, your Purify, your On Guard, your eucalyptus, you know, any of the, the cleaning ones, your Melaleuca, all right? Um, and you can add that to it as well, okay? But if you don't, just get these two staple ingredients in your home and start right here. I mean, baking soda is amazing. You can use this uh, as a face scrub. So if you just add this, and water, it makes a little paste, and you can exfoliate your face with this. You can even wash your hair with this. So there's recipes out there. You can Google um, natural shampoo and conditioner, and it's the apple cider vinegar that um, gives you that pH balance that, that you need, okay? So you do the baking soda first, you get that in your hair, wash it out, and then you do your apple cider vinegar, you put that in your hair, you let that sit. I have a hard time with apple cider vinegar because I do not like that smell, okay? Um, but you, if you can handle it, that's a great way to start taking that baby step towards reducing your toxic load, okay? Um, and dry shampoo. You can make dry shampoo with your baking soda. All right, so here's, but I want you to think about being a conscious consumer. And what does that mean? And I think, you know, several years back, I was not a conscious consumer, was not. I am 
now. Um, and I'm becoming more of a conscious consumer now, okay? So here's what it means to be a conscious consumer. When you opt to be a conscious consumer, you are putting yourself in the driver's seat of making a decision for which brand you choose to support. It's about keeping your mind engaged and making sure that you understand just what you are choosing to support or not support. You're supporting and what you're purchasing and what you're putting on your body, what you're putting in your body. With today's, okay, how do you become a conscious consumer? Look online. So easy, right? Just, just Google. Google the company, Google the product, Google the ingredients, okay? So that's one thing that I started doing was Google, Googling ingredients because half of them we don't, can't even pronounce. We don't know what they are. Search for tags or labels telling of ethical sourcing, okay? So one reason why we landed with doTERRA versus any other essential oil company out there or any other health and wellness company out there is because of their ethics and their sourcing and what they are supporting and their mission, okay? So we source from 46 different countries. We are supporting farmers all over the world. And these farmers were getting taken advantage of. The essential oil industry is a very corrupt industry. And these farmers were getting taken advantage of. So essential oils is not just for these essential oils in the bottles that you see but it, they're purchased for perfumes and fragrances and personal care products, all sorts of things. And the problem was is all these companies are going through middlemen or brokers and not going directly through the farmers. And these farmers were getting taken advantage of, they're not getting paid fairly, but they don't have a choice because they have to make money to feed their families, okay? so. Look online and Google co-impact sourcing with doTERRA. We're very transparent, which is another reason why we landed with doTERRA. We know what they're doing. We know what they're all about. We know that we can trust them. We know we can trust the founders. We know we can trust the product. We know we can trust the company. Um, so we know this because the information is out there. Just like every single bottle of oil you can look at the bottom, you get a code, and you can see the testing on that oil, okay? So these other essential oil companies don't want you to know about that and aren't happy that we're being that transparent because they are not, and they probably will not be because a lot of them would be exposed to what's actually in their bottles of oil. All right, so another way, use your gut. Okay, listen to your gut and buy local, talk to business owners. So find out from other people, you know, hey, what are you using for skincare products? Are you using a natural skincare line? What are you using for your cleaning products? What do you use for your lotion? Okay, so um, just get out there and start asking questions, start digging around, start becoming informed, okay? All right, so that is a wrap. For today hopefully you guys got some tips and kind of have a little better understanding of what a toxin is and why in today's day and age we need to be aware of it and try to reduce it as much as, as possible now here's the sad thing is is we all carry a toxic load and we can't reduce it completely so um, we all carry it and we just have to do the best that we can to try to reduce it as much as possible. All right, so if um, you guys are one of our customers, you are plugged into a private group. It's called Live Naturally Community, and I'm just gonna put this plug in there that if you're wanting more recipes and more like do-it-yourselves, you can tune in every Monday, and there's a live Make It Monday. Okay, so you can even go back and re-watch those. So when you are, um, when you get a wholesale membership with doTERRA, 
you get plugged into groups, okay, that can help you continue to grow. And then think of this, repurpose and replace. So be aware, start looking at what's in your home and start thinking and even Googling, what can I repurpose and what can I replace? And I'm going to uh, put in the comments some links and some images and some ideas and all sorts of fun stuff. So look at the comments later at the end of this call and in the show notes, on our YouTube channel, you'll find a lot of um, links to the stuff that I talked about today. All right, that's it, everyone. Uh, stay tuned in March. I'm going to be focusing on green cleaning because we're all thinking spring, and I'm going to share more recipes and kind of go through a tour of each you know area in our home and give you some ideas of what you guys can do. So stay tuned.